this is the end of the pendrive crypto wallets era because the ledger stacks is finally available and after a year of waiting it's actually in my hands i can't believe it and in this video we'll do an unboxing of this device we'll discuss all the pros and cons of this wallet including is there any difference between stacks and nano x is there any need for an upgrade and is it any good and by the way, this video is not sponsored by Ledger, I bought this wallet with my own money. So do me a favor and click the subscribe button for more content about the Ledger stacks and other hardware wallets. And yeah, let's get started. So here's the packaging itself and actually Ledger added some gifts for everyone who bought stacks in the release day. There are a Ledger Nano S Plus as a backup device, stickers, a personal letter from CEO of the company, so you can pause to read it. And next comes a pretty cool protective case. So thank you Ledger, it's very kind and let's get back to stacks. The packaging of the device is really top tier quality and I think 50 out of 450 bucks that the device costs went into the packaging. So let's finally unwrap it. And at this point, we can feel an Apple moment because when we open the box, we are immediately faced with such a beautiful device. Really, I've never had so much pleasure while unboxing. It's really something on the level of Apple or maybe even a little bit higher. And let's take the device out of the box. And yeah, here it is. So I will say this, no picture or render can waste how well designed this device is. Honestly, I thought it's just another hardware wallet with a huge screen and there are enough of those on the market already. But stacks, it feels truly premium and sorry but I can't stop comparing it to an iPhone but that's just how it feels. Even if we compare it to the Nano X, the stacks stands out. Yes, the Nano X feels solid due to the metal shield around the pen drive but you can tell it's a little bit empty inside. But with stacks, you can feel that there is no empty space inside and it's fully packed with technology all framed by a quality aluminium body. It feels in your hand like a key to an expensive car. Although I don't have a car, I can tell you really. And before we go any further and discuss the technology and why stacks is such a big deal in the crypto world, let's take a quick look what else we have inside this box. First of all, there is a small folder with a recovery sheet. There is only one sheet inside although usually you could find three such cards in the kit. Next we have a second bigger folder with manual and other paperwork and the last thing USB-C to USB-C cable for charging the device or connecting it to a computer. And that's basically it. So let's get back to the stacks and finally power it on. I'm very carefully removing the protective film and it's such a gorgeous device it feels like I've got a new iPhone really. And by the way, if you also found this device exciting, you can buy one directly from the official website using this QR code or the link in the description below. This way, you'll not only ensure that you're buying an authentic wallet, but you'll also support my efforts in creating these videos. Okay, so let's finally hit that power button. Wow, did you hear that? It even has a speaker inside. So, as you can see, the Stacks features a large wraparound ink display. And that's one of the reasons why it took so long to come out. Because it's the first of its kind such a display in the world. So, the research and development phase took so long that the release of the device was delayed by almost a year. But after powering on the wallet, we can finally witness how it actually works. As you notice, the screen refreshes like those on ebook readers and the text itself feels as if it were printed on paper. I think the e-ink display was chosen for a reason here. It delivers the feeling of something physical, as if your crypto now exists in a physical space. At the very least, the e-ink display highlights that this text is actually a physical world for crypto, and I believe that's what the designer of this device, Tony Fidel, wanted to say here. Additionally, e-ink doesn't consume much battery power, ensuring that the device will last a long time on a single charge. But a huge display alone isn't such a big deal. 
Another challenge in creating this device was to bring the convenience of a touch screen to the world of crypto without compromising on security. So, to make the touch screen 100% secure, Ledger had to directly connect the display to the secure element. And this was a challenge in itself because the chips inside hardware wallets are not typically designed to display a user interface. Most likely, none of the users will ever think about it using this touchscreen display, but this is one of the things that makes stacks significantly more secure and hackable. But this comes at a cost. At the cost of memory inside the chip. Many users have already noticed that, despite the Nano X and stacks having the same secure element inside, this tax has less available memory for apps, and this screen is one of the reasons for that. At least, that's what Ledger support explained to me. And since the Nano X and Stacks run on completely different operating system, and Stacks OS is graphical, it just takes up more memory inside the chip. Plus, Stacks has more features like NFC, which can be useful not only in the crypto world. And which brings us to the pros of this device. First of all, there is the user experience. Setting up your wallet becomes much more convenient and significantly faster. Everything is done just like on a smartphone. For example, here's how you can set up the device name using a small QWERTY keyboard. Although it looks tiny, I didn't experience many misclicks even when entering my seed phrase into the device. However, I did get a chance to reset and set up the Leisure Nano S Plus after setting up my brand new stacks, and I'll say this, entering the seed phrase took me about 15 minutes and it was a pure nightmare after experiencing how convenient it is with the stacks. Or here's an example of the interface for confirming the seed phrase. Same, much more convenient than controlling the device by pressing two buttons. Okay, the next advantage is the transparency of transactions. When you receive crypto, you can easily display the QR code with the address on the device screen and let someone scan it. Or when sending crypto, it's much more convenient to double check the transaction details on a large screen. And by the way, to prevent accidental transfers while you're checking your transaction, you need to hold for about 5 seconds to sign it. And I think it's quite a clever design. However, this device doesn't have only pros. As it may seem, there are a few things that might disappoint you. Firstly, there is the price. The stacks cost around 450 bucks, which is a significant amount for a crypto wallet. So subscribe to the channel to help me at least break even. I would take my best guess and say that 90% of crypto users has even less crypto in their wallets than the cost of this device. So if you're a beginner, you probably don't need such a device unless you really want to experience top-notch design and usability. In other cases, you can get the same level of security for much less money by choosing the Leisure Nano X or even Nano S+. Additionally, there is another device that has been released recently, the Leisure Flex, which is priced at 250 bucks, and I guess it will be comparable to the stacks in design and user experience. So stick around, I'll definitely review that device as well, and here's the QR code, just in case. Okay, the second thing you'd expect from a device with such a big screen is the ability to see your crypto balances directly on the device. I don't know about you, but I'd like to see how much crypto I have in my wallet without having to use my phone, especially given the large screen. If that were possible, the stacks would feel more like a standalone device and like a true world for digital assets. Which brings us to the next point. Currently, you can't use stacks without the Ledger Life app, and I would even say it's almost useless without the Ledger Life app. And while this makes sense for sending crypto, since it's just a digital key and it isn't connected to the internet, and of course it can send transactions on its own, it seems like an obvious feature to be able to display wallet addresses and QR codes without connecting to Ledger Life. Come on, Ledger. I hope you're planning an OS update that will bring this. Speaking of the OS, if you want to know how to set up this device and what's real inside this wallet, you can click here to check out my full stacks review and setup guide. And yeah, if you still don't see any video right here, it means it's still work in progress, so click the subscribe button right here so you don't miss out. And yeah, thanks, see you later.